Motor control is vital in keeping any industry moving. Learning these skills individually and how they work together allow me to be a valuable asset to any company. My name is Steven Cooper and I'm studying industrial systems technology here at TSTC. My background is actually in uh, commercial refrigeration. I've been working in that industry for about four years. And with this uh, degree, I'll be able to further my advancement in a larger industry. Today, we're going to be assembling a basic hydraulic circuit as well as a motor controlled circuit. We're going to come from our supply line to our needle valve. From our needle valve, we're going to go to the end port of our control valve. Something that I really like about TSTC is the fact that I can go to school and work at the same time without a crazy work-school balance. I'm able to sit there and get the things that I need in class, but at the same time I'm able to work on the outside of class and still be able to support myself. Now to operate this cylinder, we have to come in from the A port of our control valve to the cap end of our cylinder. Next to retract the cylinder to the actuator, we're going to go to the rod end. All these connections are important to complete the circuit of the hydraulic schematic. I chose TSTC because I have heard about the hands-on training that we're able to perform in class and get actual skilled training that's gonna be used in the job that we're able to get after we graduate. So we're working the actuator one way or the other to extend and retract, close the valve and make it slower. or we can open the valve and make it happen faster. It's super important to have knowledgeable instructors that have experience in the industry and can sit there and tell us what you know we might encounter on the job. And these guys go into detail every day about what we're gonna be seeing out there. So now I've shown you a basic hydraulic circuit with a manual control valve. We're now gonna use what we learned in motor control as well as basic hydraulics to control the same exact cylinder with the push of one button. So these two limit switches are going to be controlling the actual control relays whenever they engage. One's going to be de-energizing, one's going to be energizing so that we can retract and extend whenever the limit switches are satisfied. By using this continuous electrical circuit, we can increase productivity instead of having one person manually controlling a valve back and forth. The benefit of coming to TSTC is you know we're getting it done in two years as opposed to a four year and then at the end of it we've got the two years of experience we're not coming out with a bunch of debt and then we're also have the opportunity to have a job 